In this screencast, we're going to look at engine bypass ratio. The bypass ratio is defined as the ratio of the mass of air that goes through essentially the fan, so it goes through here and here, compared to what goes through the engine core. So there's the bypassed air here in blue and the hot stream air going through the core of the engine. So the bypass ratio B is that mass of the cold stream air, so here and here, compared to the mass of the hot stream air. So low uh, bypass ratios will be somewhere between 0 0.2 is to 1 to 1 is to 1. A medium bypass engine would have a ratio of about 1 is to 1 to 4 is to 1. And a high bypass ratio is 5 is to 1 or greater. So if we look at the evolution, you know, uh, if you look at something like the 737 or the A320, um, that would have had a bypass ratio of 5 is to 1. Boeing 777, bypass ratio, let's say 6.4 is to 1. The A380 had a, has a bypass ratio of 8.5 is to 1. And now the A320neo, so if we compare the old A320 to the, to the new engine option, it has a bypass ratio of 12.5 is to 1. So we've got a bigger bypass ratio. One of the issues with, with bypass ratios in the past has been uh, the tip speed. So if we take this engine here, and it has, let's say, there's the turbo fan, and let's say the fan has a radius of R, then the tip speed is omega R. If I increase the, raci uh, the radius, then obviously that tip speed uh, is going to get uh, larger. And given the high RPM that the engines have, this can get to the speed of sound very quickly. So this was a limiting factor uh, on the bypass ratio. The other limiting factor was the centrifugal force. So the centrifugal force on the blades is the mass times the um, revol uh, radians per second squared times the radius. So if the radius increases from this length to this length, then you can see there's going to be an increase in the centrifugal force. So these were two of the restrictions on, on the bypass ratio. You know, the tip speed would get to the speed of sound uh, quicker, and there would be significant centrifugal force. So two things have, uh, have happened. The technology on the blades, so they're beginning to use uh, composite fan blades uh, that are a little bit stronger, so they could uh, re resist the large centrifugal force. And the other thing is they have included a gearbox in the engine to, to reduce the RPM to get, get rid of the tip speed. So if we look at the engine here in on the um, A320neo, or one of the engines in the A320neo, you can see here's the fan and here is the gearbox. So whatever the RPM was, it is reduced here in the gearbox, allowing us to, um, if I go back, so if the, if the RPM reduces, then this reduces the tip speed, allowing us to have a larger radius. If we look at the uh, evolution of um, bypass ratio, so... The, uh, the fan size has gone from um, a low bypass ratio up to uh, a high bypass ratio. So it is has gone this direction. And with the larger bypass ratios, we get a reduction in fuel burn. You can see the reduction in fuel burn coming off. And we get a reduction in noise. So high bypass ratio engines are you know, desirable. So just to conclude, what is, a, what is the bypass ratio? The bypass ratio is the mass of the cold stream air compared to the mass of the hot stream that's going through the core. Okay, so the mass going through the outside compared
that's an aspect trait. 